Hello everyone, this time I'm going to show you all about editing loops in the loop editor down here. Now what you want to do is, from the library, go to sound. Now of course I have this loop selected, the bass drum and I hat so let's edit the guitar. Now let's put the track on solo. And we'll hear what it sounds like right now. Let's say we want to change that. Now down here we can change the tempo. So let's show you the difference from what it is now, 98, to 150. Tempo as it goes up higher in numbers, uh, it slows down more. So you want to keep it at whatever so it says normal. Now key is so you can change what key of course it's going to play and how it will sign and pitch. And that's a C major next to the a normal C. So let's let's do a C major for that sign. And it's actually quite basic that uh, down here you've got noise reduction, now you really don't need to worry about that. Basically what it is, if you want, let's say in this loop, there was a certain part that, that uh, had a noise in the background that I didn't want, we would put noise reduction in, say, 30% because it's not too much. We'll simply drag these two little arrows, and wherever it is we wish for the noise to be re uh, reduced, Let's say we want this whole clip reduced. And you'll hear how it sounds. Now, of course, we, do, we don't want that, but that's just an example. Now, that's, that's not all you can do with your loop. As I said before, you can do the sound of the track volume, of course, and, but you can also trim loops so you can make your own unique loops and you, as you can see here you've got split and merge now let's say you wanted two clips two different loops to become the same so if I were to drag this here and I hold in control and click this one if I right click and go down to merge two clips see how they've become the one loop now we don't want that, so let's control Z. Another thing you can do is split clips. So let's say we don't want this first little bit on the guitar riff. Let's simply click on the loop and we'll press right click and go to split or control T for the shortcut. Now, that's just, now that's split. That's very, very basic, and isn't hard to do at all. So as you can see, that's fairly basic. Thanks for watching.